John Wilder, and besides being historian for the uh, Aleppo Shrine, I'm also very proud to be captain and the 15th commanding officer of the Aleppo Shrine Minutemen. We were founded in 1974 before the Bicentennial, and we are the only Minuteman group in all of Shrinedom. So I'm very happy to bring to you a piece from our own history today. This is a drum major's mace, sometimes called a baton, and this was back in the day when we had a full music section within the Minutemen Parading Unit. Today we're mostly known for our muskets and the uh, flags we carry. We do have uh, two drummers now, one of which is myself, um, <clears throat> and a uh, semi-retired fifer. But we used to put on the street um, at least six snare drums, two bass drums, and probably six to eight fifes. So we did have a drum major. This piece was actually made by one of our earliest members, uh, Joe Weinrieb. Him and his son Buddy joined the unit in the next ceremonial after they formed. So they were not officially chartered members, but they were uh, some of the earliest members, and they stayed active for many, many years. Uh, we're also very, very glad that uh, even though, uh, unfortunately, both have passed on, uh, Buddy's uh, wife, Gloria, still is very active in the unit, and we're very glad to have uh, her involved as we are a very family-oriented group. But uh, Joe was rather skilled in metalwork and engraving, so he took this piece and uh, he added the uh, Minutemen figure, figures on top, all around, along with a tricorn. And on top originally was a large shrine uh, symbol, which unfortunately has broken off over the years. But most interesting about this piece, which is extremely hard to see, so I won't even bother holding it up to the camera, I needed a jeweler's loop to see it. But all through the metal portion here, this is all engraved. There's various symbols. Uh, there's a powder horn, a drum, cross swords, the Masonic symbol, the shrine symbol, we have the, the sun and the moon, various Masonic ones, and then all through this portion in the middle is the names of all of the original members of the unit. And up here and down here are the first three or four years of events and parades that the unit participated in. So this is quite an amazing piece of history for us and for the shrine to have our early history documented on a piece like this. Uh, we found it in storage with some of our old flags. We're currently in the process of renovating our meeting room at the shrine. So since we don't have a full music uh, contingent anymore, uh, we, I will be making a case for this so that we can have it on display uh, with proper credit to, uh, to Joe. He also made um, some of our earlier implements that we don't use anymore, but this was the most ornate piece and to have our history preserved like that was just incredible. So when I first got this and cleaned it up, I sat at my desk with a, uh, with a strong light and a jeweler's loop and actually uh, recorded and wrote down everything that's engraved on here and where it is. Unfortunately, from the drum major using it, the part with some of the names is rather worn down, so some of them are illegible. But most of the uh, first three or four years of events and parades are still vi visible. So we're very glad that this was uh, saved, and we will definitely treasure it for many years to come. So if you like what I've seen on our videos, make sure to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. Thank you very much.